So what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? It's one of the greatest things I ever saw. I loved it. So what what kind of what what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? Well, she said, tried to say that Godzilla minus one is a flop, essentially. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll let her say what she had to say. Before we get started, I just want to say that I feel a little bad because I know some of you are really big fans of the two movies that we're going to be focusing on today. And the truth is that their box office numbers, while by no means horrible, are not as fantastic as I think some of you would like them to be. In fact, I saw, because, you know, some, some Twitter accounts are posting the opening weekend, for instance, for Beyonce without any context. And I see all the responses being like, yay! But when you see it next to Taylor Swift, it's not a yay. And I have to be honest about that. But don't worry, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Beyonce her flowers. Uh, but, um... I, I, I just got to keep it real. So please remember that a movie's box office, while it will affect many things about a film and those who are involved with it, it should not diminish your enjoyment of that movie. And I've had a couple of box office bombs. These aren't bombs, but you know, that I've fallen in love with and you just have to deal with it. All right, so the other outlier this weekend was Japan's Godzilla Minus One. Interestingly, hitting theaters the very same weekend that Warner Brothers debuts their first trailer for their new Godzilla movie, also co-starring Kong. And while this is the biggest opening was ever a for Freudian a Japanese slip? movie in the North American marketplace, hurrah, you know, huzzah, that's fantastic, it's still nowhere near the Hollywood openings for the franchise. So it's like not there. It's not where it needs to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Interestingly, while all the ladies went to see Beyonce this weekend, all the men went to see Godzilla with an astounding 82% male audience and also skewing older. I guess both these movies didn't really light a fire under uh, younger audiences, which is fascinating. Maybe their numbers would have been a little bit bigger if they had. Younger audiences don't go to theaters. This person is legit tarded. Like commenting, <laughs> it was true, isn't it? Like what? commenting, well, two things. Well, you know, Beyonce did well, but it's not Taylor Swift. You you need to you need to compare the movie with its budget, not like for like. You, like it's not like for like. You're not. Com it's, that's you're not. That doesn't make any sense. And then you're comparing. You're comparing. Fuck in my brain. Honestly, I'm dumber for watching that. You're comparing <laughs> Godzilla Minus One I warned you. to the Hollywood movies, <laughs> which have over 10 times the budget. You're a fucking moron. Yeah, yeah that's what I said yesterday. It's hilarious. She's overlooking that any of those legendary Godzilla films, you could make 10, 10 Godzilla Minus Ones for. She's not, she's not, <laughs> she's not. And market them. She's not smart. Yeah, and market them, especially when you get to the latter films, because they spent a lot more, yeah. <sighs> and then yeah. she's surprised that men went to watch Godzilla. Well, no shit, love. And was she surprised that women went to watch Beyonce? Oh, my God. And then she's like, well, they skewed older. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Is, like, oh. isn't Godzilla minus one? What's the rating for Godzilla minus one? Is it PG thirteen, Tom? I, I can't remember know. if it's considered R or PG thirteen. But yeah, it's something like that. There were no bad words in it. There's violence. And look, the last Godzilla film, if you don't count Godzilla versus Kong, it only made forty eight million in the opening weekend. Yeah. So the, because remember, H and I would eight. argue about that a lot. <laughs> It's uh, it's a twelve A in the UK. So yeah, it'd be probably like a PG thirteen. Yeah. PG thirteen, yeah. Yeah, and 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 it's funny because to me, I'm like, okay, it's a PG thirteen audience. It's gonna skew older because the, your Godzilla fans are older. Yeah, especially Toho fans. Remember, because yeah, they, you know, like, uh, yeah, it's legendary's not... caught new fans, but the Toho fans are, yeah, of course they're gonna be older. Yeah, you're not. It's it's so it. moronic. Well, it's just like she doesn't. I don't think she understands genres and sub subgenres and stuff like that. So I don't. I don't think she gets it. I mean, if you if you were breaking this down, you know, as an analyst, you'd be like, "Wow, this thing really pulled like 
the demographic it did amazingly yeah. well. It's yeah. the it's the biggest foreign language movie debut of the year. Yeah. It, it's the biggest live action debut of any Japanese film of all time. I mean, hello. Those are amazing numbers. Those are amazing metrics, amazing records. And she's like, well, I didn't do it. Didn't do as good as 2014's Godzilla. What is did you did you even talk about the theaters? It's been news flash, in? Grace. 2014's Godzilla didn't do as well as 98 Godzilla either. What's your fucking point? Well, she's not. <laughs> I mean, she's comparing apples to oranges. That's my fucking point here. You have two completely different things here. You have a U.S. franchise that has, you know, a hundred to two hundred some plus million dollar budget each, marketing out the wazoo. Yeah. As I've pointed out before, they've now figured out the formula and go, oh shit, maybe we should start advertising and getting this more towards kids because kids buy the toys. So Warner yeah. Brothers is very happy with this franchise, or they wouldn't have gone out of their way to make Legendary work it out with them to where they continue to have Godzilla and King Kong together to the point where the next yeah, film right. they do right after the last one was a Godzilla versus King Kong movie again. But it was also that Legendary were going to sue Warner Brothers. Exactly well. my point. Like, that was my point. They did so well with that last one and the last few that they were like, okay, between that and the, and the toys that they're selling, that's the thing people are overlooking big mm -hmm. time is the amount of toys this fucking franchise sells. As I've said time and time again, through all the Marvel films, the Star Wars movies, and everything else that have come and gone throughout the years, one thing is a mainstay. Oh, exactly. I've got a toy on screen now, Tom. <laughs> on my fucking shelf at my local Walmart, as I guaranteed is at most, whatever the last Godzilla movie is, those toys stay on the shelf. Don't go on clearance until the next one comes out. Like, I bet you have five bucks I can go out right now. And they probably got Godzilla X Kong toys starting now, actually. But I was going to say, I could probably go get some Godzilla versus Kong toys right now. Right? Like, that was my. And that movie came out, what, almost two years ago now? More than that? Like, yeah. It was the same thing yeah, with King of the now. Monsters. Those toys stayed on the shelf until Co Godzilla versus Kong came out. Like, it was like the next day, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. boom. They moved the old, old toys out and the new toys in. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah. So Here's here's some here's some numbers that aren't being reported by the numbers, which makes the numbers inaccurate right now as far as international box office goes. The film uh, Godzilla minus one on day one made six point six million dollars in Japan. It was released, uh, I think, Friday, like de December or excuse me, November eleventh or something. They've had this movie for almost a month yeah. um, there, and I mean, it just it went absolutely banana. They had six hundred and sixty thousand people see it on the first day. That's in six hundred thousand sixty thousand people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And what is that's, the conversion? That's incredible. Oh, uh, oh, you mean in yen? Yeah. Uh, I think it was over a billion yen. One point, uh, I think, yeah, it was like one point. Yeah, it was one billion yen. And how much is that in U.S.? 6.6 .6 million. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Th you already did. I'm sorry. I thought you were doing yen to begin with. My bad. Yeah. You know, and and it's just it's just insane. It topped, in, in Japan, it topped the revenue that Shin Godzilla pulled in. I was going to say Shin Godzilla was their biggest one before this, right? Other yeah. than the demon slayer when i think came in between there but yeah i mean it is mm. just bonkers right and it and it also hit an older audience there but it not quite the same statistical skew that we have here well, in the States. but i just i look at those things and i go did no analyst look at what these this was actually already doing and why is uh the numbers not reporting japanese box office at all well and i'll tell you something else and this is what I think if, if Hollywood is taking note of anything of this Godzilla thing, if they should be noticing it, they like, they should be, I mean, sorry, is that us's biggest export is no longer us's biggest export. Mm. Yeah. yeah. On, on, on November 14th, Godzilla minus one in the Japanese market had already earned $13 million and it's still running over there. And I mean this because, look, I'm not an anime fan or anything like that, but I will acknowledge that whenever any of these animes come over here, this recent Godzilla film, the, the, the Bollywood films that have done so well lately, when these things happen, that just tells me that they're doing better shit 
everywhere else than what we're exporting, right? And they've rejected a lot of Hollywood just wholesale when it comes to a lot of the stuff that we're putting out anyway because of this crap that we're dealing with, mm. you know? So, I mean, so they really got to start paying attention here. This is a big deal if you ask me. That is. That's a huge deal. And she's just like, uh, nah, it's not as good as you think. Oh, my gosh. Shut up, woman. Not smart. She is taking the most elementary look at this. Like, this is the worst kind of journalism like we see out of some of the worst rags when they try to make an excuse for Disney. Like, oh, no, this was profitable. It's like, you need to go back to school and learn how to maths. Like, I suck at math. (laughs) And I can look at the fact that this movie made $11 million on probably half, if not a third of the screens that one of the legendary films would normally get. Like, let's not even figure in the, 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 the uh, budget, just the fact that it did $11 million in the last Godzilla movie did 41 million and I'm not call- counting Godzilla versus Kong. Mm. That to me tells me that if you'd have had more theaters, this movie would have been right up there with King of the Monsters. It probably could have brought down $30 million this week and had you had it in enough theaters, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. I do actually agree with that. Again, they, they've they've really been neutered by, um, well, how little theaters that they've had for it uh, available. They barely had like barely anything available for it. It's insane, absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. No, like because because that's what culture was saying is a lot of those theaters that we see in that number were added after the initial opening yeah. day, basically. And, and, and not only that, I mean, you have a two date or at least it's through this last weekend, this film in Japan has amassed a total of 3.8 billion yen. And yes, I'm looking that up for you right now, Tom. So, um, that's crazy. Well, and I also want to take into consideration the difference in population and the amount of screens they probably have there and that kind of a factor too. I mean, Mm. What did I say? 3.3 billion yen? Because what? Japan's about the size of what? Florida and a a couple other southern states, and that's about it. Million population. What is it? 125 million, from what I could find. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not very big. Yeah, so far in Japan, as through the last weekend that we've had, it is now sitting at 22.4 million US dollars. See, and it did half of that in one weekend in the US. Yeah. So good. I'm just saying. So good. Well, I thought we'd enjoy that segment. Mm. Uh, one more time, just because it's funny. So, <laughs> what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? One of the greatest things I ever great heard. I love it. 